What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Persona 3 The Answer. I didn't actually do any grinding. We're just starting back up from where I ended. After this fight, we'll go see Igor. But first, we need to see what this fight is all about. Let's jump right in. I am ready. Shadows confirmed. And they all look mean. But that figure over there, it doesn't seem to have any intention of attacking us. It's just gonna run away, giggling. <laughs> anyway, for now, concentrate on the shadows ahead. Gladly. Here they come. Bring it! Just like the last boss fight in Antonora, this has a similar gimmick. We have the Shouting Tiara, we have the Primitive Idol, and we have the Wrathful Book. The Wrathful Book has a weakness to fire. The Primitive Idol has a weakness to electricity. And the Shouting Tiara has a weakness to ice. Same deal as before. In fact, the same tactics as before. Have Akihiko and Junpei go for that knockdown and have Yukari on heal and support. I am also going to be working on Knockdown. The more all-out attacks we can get on this, the easier time we'll have. But the problem, every single enemy can evade its weakness. Because of course they can. I'm going to do my best swapping between Personas to try and knock all these guys down. And by the time everybody gets, uh, gets nice and identified, then we can start dealing massive damage. But we have to get there first, so let's go ahead and get there first. Of course. I couldn't finish it off. That Magaru won't do anything. In fact, we got a little bit of absorption on the field. I couldn't finish it off. Ooh, that's not good. And I was worried about that. We've gotten to the point where enemies are going to start throwing almighty damage. And that hit and evasion rate is very depressing. Very depressing, and I didn't identify any of my enemies. <sighs> to think that every time I go into a boss fight, there's a little mini checklist I need to make sure I do before doing anything. Back to Black Frost. Now, I would laugh if I managed to hit every single one. Sorry for the pause there, I just have to check my notes to make sure I'm hitting the right thing. Now, that right there, that wasn't even evasion, that was just missing entirely because of the increased hit evasion rate. There's the shouting tiara identified. So hopefully Junpei can pick up where I slacked off. Oh wait, no, that was something else. Ooh, that's rough. All right, let's talk about rage. Rage makes it, and oh, that's such a mean ass combo. Rage makes it to where you do not listen to reason. Please. And before I can even explain the rest of it, I just died. Rage makes it so that if you are enraged, you get two attacks. You do double damage, but you cannot listen to reason and start attacking without command. That was a brilliant setup by the shadows to use a Tetracarn and make it so that whoever is enraged is probably going to shoot and kill themselves. <laughs> wow! What an opening move from the enemies! And it just, the hits just keep on coming! God damn, that was a heavy hit! Mabufudine! Jesus! All right, you shadows aren't messing around. I've regained my honor. But I haven't regained mine, Akihiko. Can you help me find some honor? Because now that I've missed my turn... Oh, that is scary. Mind charge whatever in God's name it could have. Oh, probably a mind charge Mubufudine. That would actually kill everybody. And Masukukaja, they're getting set up for their combo once more. And that's no bueno. 
So let's see if we can go for the hits again. Hopefully we can. I've managed to identify one of them, so that's good. Alright, I don't want you having a turn. Of course. Not Mabufudine? Really? I mean... I would have died had you done that. Uh-oh. Well, that's, uh, that's another failed attempt. In the exact same amount of turns, I should add. Because Yukari is dead. Akihiko has stood up so he does not get a turn. I am going to stand up and do not get a turn. Junpei is going to try to attack, or eh, even Omegido will just take us all out. Like Woo! Man, what a setup. Uh, I'm just going to meet you when I'm actually farther than two turns into the fight. I won't lose. Oh, so close. And that fight is probably over. It was going extremely well, but... The difference is, they didn't get to do a Tetracarn. Which means... We should be able to kill something. And if if we can, that's perfect. If Junpei actually hits this, damn it. Alright, so, yeah, the exact same thing happened. They raised the hit evasion rate, but we were still able to get critical hits. There's that Tetracarn, which means Akihiko is probably going to die. God, that's so depressing. Uh... Ooh, yeah. That's another thing about being enraged. You take double damage. And that's a death. Damn it! Oh, it was going so well. I got two all-out attacks and just did not go my way. Ironically, after I started talking again. So maybe I'll just shut the fuck up the entire time. Let's see if that works. Oh! I didn't know it had that move. So, they can recover a little bit of health. That's interesting. Oh my god, Junpei. You are my best friend right now! One more, baby! One more! Holy shit! This is beautiful! The idol has to recover. It has to get back up. Unfortunately, Akihiko had to get back up, too. But, yeah. I'm not gonna jinx it. We're doing really well. And that probably means I'm going down. You know what? Let's just try it. One of them is about- two of them are about to die, actually. And if I can do any amount of damage, I'll be happy. And the thing is, the only reason I got this far is because of a lucky dodge for Akihiko and changing to Sakimitama, a persona I found in Antonora. It knows Zionga, and it's strong against fire, ice, and electricity. So I'm not immediately dying. And I can't effing believe it, but this should be it. Yep, that's looking like it. Tha oh, oh. <laughs> hey, guys. Wh wait, where'd my friends go? Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 oh. Holy crap. 10,000 experience. And a throne of ruin to sell. Got up to level 50 on that one. What a absolute nightmare. I'm glad it's over. A Soma? Oh, I love that. And two Triasto Gems. Huh! Oh, those are great spoils. Alright, let's let's head back to the Desert of Doors. Let us save this garbage. And move on and finish this floor. We're so close. That was the second and final boss of this area. So it's going to be nice to finally get down there and see another person's memories. Wow. Memories. But the first thing I want to do is take a trip to the Velvet Room and fuse away some of these personas for some big boys. Because I have a lot that can be fused away. Yeah, look at all this. And because I'm level 50, I have a lot more open up to me. In fact... Let's go ahead and try some big guns uh, at the very beginning. Narashima, or Narasima. I can also do Mott of the Death Arcana. I don't want to get rid of Siryu, so we'll try some Personas that I know I'm not going to use. Narasima. 
Mighty Swing, Ray Patra, Evade Wind, and Fatal End. This is a very strong physical attacker. Look at that strength stat, and look at the moves that it can get. Let's go ahead and fuse him, because if I don't like him, I can just fuse him away. I don't think we've even had a tri-fusion yet. That's how little I've been getting personas and fusing them to make stronger beings. Ah, there. Look at you, Lionman. The stalwart harbinger of thy victory. Wow, what a title. Now, let's see what we can do in the normal spread using this brand new persona. Ooh. Ubelarus. Herculean Strike, Rikarmdra, Null Distress, and we can give it Dodge Pierce and Evade Wind. We can make it evade its weakness. Strong against Strike, strong against Electricity, and my god, it is defensive. Let's make this Rockman. Now, I know I had to get rid of Samael. That's okay. It's This is about dividing and conquering. Making bigger boys out of all the smaller boys. And making bigger boys to make even bigger boys. Just making all of the boys. Ubelarus, welcome. Now, if I take Ubelarus and fuse, let's say, Vasuki. There we go, now we're getting into the big boys. The biggest boys. Lachesis. Yeah, let, let's take a look, actually. Rakarm, Garilla, Masuku Kaja, Medaya, Herculean Strike, and Dodge Pierce. It learns Dodge Electricity next. This could be my new Wind Persona. Even though I still have Seer you, I can still fuse it away, but I can also fuse a Succubus. Sexy Dance, Moodoon, and Agidine. Its only weakness is Light. Strong against Fire and nullifies Darkness forthwith. You know what? Let's make a Devil. Goodbye, Orpheus. It's been fun. Fuse them together, Igor. Make me something that'll steal my soul in my sleep. Behold my power! Well, thank you, Succubus. And now, do you fuse with anything? Just curious. Mont, Karama Tengu, Sakimitama. No, nothing there, but... Narcissus, Succubus... Ooh, Gutulain, Nandi, Taraka. Dominion and Quetzalcoatl. Let me see these two. What's Quetzalcoatl rocking? Magarilla, Marakukaja, Growth 2. Yeah, those are not good. Uh, how about Dominion? Hamaon, Infuriate. Not that good. I have a funny feeling that we will be getting Dominion cards here soon. I think I'm actually done for now for the fusing. We've got some pretty good personas now, and I still have one persona of each element. I actually kind of want to run Succubus for a little while, because she actually has some moves uh, coming up that I want to take advantage of, like Fire Break. If it has a resistance against fire, we can take that away and then hit it with regular fire damage. And also, I want to see if leveling up can help me get rid of that Agi. Alright, before I forget, let's go ahead and save. And welcome back to Antonora. Let's move on to the final segment. Ooh, and it's looking darker. I've pinpointed that black shadow. Hang on. And it's gone. It's moving down to the lower floors. Imagine that. 
If it keeps going at this rate, it may shake us off. Please hurry and catch it. Absolutely, Fuka. We're there. To the stairs. I think what I'm going to end up doing is, if if the rest of Antonora actually goes as quickly as the other floors have gone, I think I'm actually going to use this section to be my next grinding spot. Like, I could go to the next uh, available assortment of doors, but I don't think I will, because I'm running past everything at the speed of light. Uh, chances are I won't get to see what other shadows are here. I mean, we have this guy, but we've already fought him. Uh, he was weak to ice, right? Yes, he is. Oh, of course, and my succubus only has fire magic because she's so hot! But, uh, yeah, I think, uh, this is a good area that we can get some grinding in. I'll get everybody else up to 45, um, after we unlock the next area. Nice evade ice. Glad we have those moves still. Oh, nice evade everything, my lord. Anyway, I'll see you after this fight. I want somebody to run calculations for me. What are the odds that a 50-50 chance can happen three times in a row? I'm asking because all of these evasions happen far too often for my liking. As in all the goddamn time. Almost caught up with the unknown presence, don't let your guard down now, oh thank you. Oh don't worry, the stairs are right here, giving me a warm refreshing hug. Darn it, I was hoping it would be just right there. Hello, stairs. Take me with your sweet embrace. Hug me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And... please? Oh, still nothing to... Hey, there they are. And here we are. The dead end. The black shadow was just here. It's all right. He's leading us in this direction so we can watch somebody else's past. Oh, it feels good to be at the end of Antonora. 25 floors down. Two major pain-in-the-ass bosses defeated. Let's see what we're looking at here. Stupid old man. Hey! Oh, wait. How low do you have to be to get drunk on cooking wine? Oh. Great. But I guess it's just as pathetic to rush out like this every day. <sighs> man, what am I gonna do? I got nowhere to go. Yo, sup, Pooch? Here to join my nowhere to go after school club? <laughs> Koro's such a good boy. He just goes up and said, Sup, loser. I'm here to make you feel good. <laughs> Sorry, Pooch. I don't have any food for you. Koromaru goes on the defensive, starts growling and biting. You know, haven't I seen you around here before? Hey, it's Junpei. Huh? Oh, hey, guys. Why the long face? Are you that sad that we're in different homerooms now? Still dumb as rocks, huh? Wait, isn't it way past your dorm curfew? What are you guys doing out so late? Ah, uh, we snuck out. When you get to be a junior, you learn the secret exit. Hey, we're going to Escapade. Want to come with? We're helping this guy drown his sorrows over a girl. That's not true. <laughs> Don't let it get to you. That's what you get for going after someone like Yukari Takeba. She's a hard nut to crack. Wait. No, don't don't read too deeply into that. I'm just saying I cracked a nut. You know what? I'm going to stop talking. Although I never expected her to hook up with a new transfer student. Oh, fuck yeah, Hajime. That's what I'm talking about! I guess she goes for that kind of dark side of his.
You know, when you know voice actors and the different roles they play in a game, maybe it's a good thing that Hajime's dead right now, because in another life, he was Junpei's friend. Dark? He seems like a regular dude to me. Junpei, he's got blue hair! Dark anime boy! Get your tropes right! No, I'm serious. That transfer kid? Rumor has it both his parents died when he was little. Someone got a peek at his file when Toriyumi left it lying around. Man, you're so gullible. That stuff only happens in soap operas. And Japanese RPGs. Hey, I said it was a rumor. Come on, let's get going. You snooze, no booze. <laughs> I'm already there and I'm falling asleep. Booze? Uh, uh, I think I'm gonna pass. Huh? What's the matter? Come on, why don't you live a little? I said I'm gonna pass. I just ain't in the mood. Well, man, looks like I'm the only one you got to console you. They keep telling you nothing happened! Yes, we know. Because you went after Yukari, of course nothing happened. <laughs> he offered to hang out and I turned him down. Things never go the way I want them to. Well, there's a little something more important on your mind right now. Koromaru will crack open a cold one with the boys. Man, is my life really as bad as it seems now? I wish there was, like, something I could do to change the world. Like, some awesome skill that no one else has. <laughs> Don't give me that. I'm sure someday, we can make some real friends that'll listen to us. That was cute. <laughs> All the scenes in my past, and you guys had to see that one. Well, at this point, we've seen different angles of different people's lives. This just happens to be a normal Thursday for you, when you're at your lowest. Junpei. We know what came of this, though. We're currently living your present. You got the friends you wanted. Dude, I know. <laughs> I was surprised to see you, too. So, you were the dog from that day. My first friend! Oh. Makes it seem kind of like... Destiny. Looking back, that was the day Akihiko-san found me. Leading to my theory. I like this, it's all coming together. The only place I could go from there was the convenience store. And that's where I was when the dark hour hit. You were bawling in the dark with that awful expression. Honestly, you looked worse than the shadows. Well, what was I supposed to do? That was the scariest damn moment of my life, man. <laughs> but you know, I had other stuff to deal with, like my old man. So staying at the dorm and fighting shadows and all that stuff looked pretty good. The bottle. The old man. I understand. Unlike me and my sister, other people usually have reasons to awaken. Well, for Junpei's, it was a reason to not follow in his father's footsteps. And I can kind of relate. I comprehend. Good. I didn't want to have to explain alcoholism to you. I had my reasons as well. However, in my case, it happened in reverse. I had the power first, 
and gained a reason later. Now that I mention it, you're... Hmm. I think I'm starting to get it. There is a reason we see what we see inside the doors. Doors that have delivered on that reason disappear, and those with roles still to play remain. A reason? What kind of reason? I can't say for sure, but if we keep moving forward, I think we'll start seeing it. On to the next section of doors! <laughs> Let's do our best, sister. You... You're right. Until then, it hadn't even occurred to me to wonder about it. She's so full of emotion. Nothing like me when I woke up in July. But she'd never had any chance to come into contact with others. Was there a moment when she discovered her emotions? As I did? The seed of my curiosity was planted as I began to wonder. You decided to return to the lounge. I noticed a lot of our visions of the past have been almost all two-for-one deals. Ken was the lone exception. You've encountered a human-like figure during the investigation, haven't you? Since you've seen it in person, can you describe it for me? All I can tell through Juno was that it seemed human. Yeah, it's just us. Unless you're talking about Hajime's shadow. I don't know why we keep running into it. But that little prankster, he's going down. We're heading for the deepest part of the abyss. Once we corner it, we'll get the truth. Yup. The truth. Exactly what we want. Uh, but as I was saying... This is kind of a darker storyline. I mean, Persona 3 already had a dark storyline, but we're getting we're getting really depressing topics even in the aftergame and now in the answer. Ken's awakening to his persona was the night his mom died and also his plot for revenge. Akihiko and Mitsuru basically did not have time to enjoy high school because they were busy fighting shadows. And Junpei just needed a place to belong after dealing with an alcoholic father. But he found Koromaru, and Koromaru is such a good boy! Oh, uh, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing the rest of these visions in the Desert of Doors. But my god, are they making me work for it. I guess that's kind of the point. Next time on Persona 3 The Answer! We're heading back in, new section of doors, new section of shadows that want to kill me. See you guys next time.